I get a lot of searches on my website from people wondering, can I integrate my Etsy shop onto my own website? And if so, how? And over the years, many solutions have come and gone. So let's go over them and what you can do now. Ready? Let's dive in. Bonjour, my name is Deb and I'm the founder of Tizit.co, a membership community for makers and handmade shop owners just like your fabulous self. You can learn more about our community Tizit HQ via the link below this video. But for now, let's jump straight into today's conversation. How can you integrate your Etsy store onto your own website? Transitioning to your own website is a big step and it can be a little bit exciting, but also very overwhelming, right? So if you're in the beginning of that process, I actually have another video all about how to transition from Etsy to your own website pain-free. So if you're on Etsy and you want to start your own website, where do you start and what steps should you take to easily build that site? Watch this video once you finish this one. So I'll leave a link down below uh, for you to watch it next. I also have a free one page website planner that you can download, which I'll also link down below this video. Now, when you start creating your own website, you might first want to integrate Etsy with your website to avoid the time consuming e-commerce setup until you're ready and have the time to do it properly. Back in the days, there was something called Etsy mini that you could integrate with your website, but it's long gone. So what can you do today? The first solution I want to talk about is the simplest, and that is to have a simple link to Etsy on your website pages. I know, I know very simple and your website won't look like a store. It will just have information pages that link to your Etsy store. But this is a good in between that allows you to work on creating your website without the pressure of also creating the e-commerce portion of it at the same time. It's not a perfect long-term solution, but it's the absolute easiest way. So in this case, your website pages will have links that say shop on Etsy or buy this on Etsy. They'll take people to Etsy for the e-commerce portion of buying your products. Now, if you want to up your game a bit and have your website look more like a full e-commerce shop, but still without integrating yet with something like WooCommerce or a full Shopify setup, then you'll want to consider option two, which is Etsy 360. Etsy 360 is a plugin that lets you use your Etsy listings and display them on your site as if it was a full e-commerce integrated website while still only using the Etsy platform to complete the customer purchases of your product. So you'll use Etsy 360 as an interim solution if you don't have time to input all the information about your listing, your price, your photos, your product description into whichever e-commerce platform you have chosen. So let's say you're in the process of creating your website. First, you would pick the platform that you want to end up on. And so what I mean by that is the platform you want to use to sell your products ultimately, once you've had time to upload all of your product information to it. If it's WordPress, great. If it's Shopify, great. You're going to sign up for that platform that you want to end up on. Once you have signed up, you can create your homepage, your contact us page, and any other pages that you need. But instead of inputting all of your product data into the e-commerce platform, you'll install Etsy 360. It bows you time before you input all this product information by embedding your Etsy product information into simple product information pages on your website. So the plugin displays your items and categories and it lets your website visitors browse your site as if it was a full online store. So let's take a quick look at it. So this is the demo store and essentially you can see the shop categories here and they're the same that you would have on Etsy. And then here you have all of the products that would be in the store. So it's kind of like the front end stuff you would have on your Etsy store, but displayed in a way that doesn't make it look like we're on Etsy because, well, we're not on Etsy, right? Remember, this is displaying on your own websites just by grabbing the information from Etsy. Now you can navigate the shop categories by clicking shop categories, obviously, and then navigating each product by clicking view details. And again, all the product details will be showing on your own website. The same information that you have on Etsy, the same pictures that you have on Etsy, but instead of being on Etsy, you're on your own domain and your own URL until you click on purchase now, and then you'll be taken to Etsy for checkout, but we'll come back to that in a little bit. So let's talk about the pros and cons of this option. There are a lot of advantages to using Etsy 360 with your shopping platform. First, it looks like a real e-commerce store. It makes it nice and easy to have your new website look like a store, even if you haven't had time to do the e-commerce store setup on your platform yet. It allows people to shop on your website, navigate easily, 
through your sections and through your listings. And when they are ready to purchase, they will be taken to Etsy. But until that point, it gives shoppers a nice user experience on your own website. Another advantage sure, is that it can integrate with a lot of different e-commerce platforms. You can use it with WordPress, with Weebly, with Squarespace, Shopify, Wix. I'm probably forgetting many more. Um, it's quite flexible. It's easy to set up. They have step-by-step -step instructions on their website, plus instructional videos for installing it on all these different platforms. So even if you're not really tech, you know, savvy, you can definitely get that done. Another cool thing is that it automatically updates your website with any product updates you make on Etsy, as well as product availability uh, when someone purchase or you restock your listing. So you're, there's no work needed for that on your part. It's automatic and it's going to update the product information to match the changes that you make on Etsy. So you can go and focus on other areas of your business. It also allows you to send people to your website sooner than if you had to wait until your entire e-commerce store was set up and ready. And being able to send people to your website before investing a huge amount of time into setting it all up and you know your products, all of that on your e-commerce platform means you can start building your email list and have better control of the branding that shoppers see much sooner. In addition, you're less likely to lose these customers because when they shop on your website using Etsy 360, there's no competitive products that are displayed, right? So when people shop on your Etsy shop, there are competitor products displaying on each page at the bottom, which of course can lead to lost business. With this plugin, you have shoppers browse your website instead of your Etsy shop. So they are only seeing the products from your shop, which is of course a huge plus. And when they do go to Etsy to check out, the listing page on Etsy doesn't have the other links and products at the bottom. Now, despite all those pros, there are of course a few cons to using Etsy 360. Shoppers may be confused. That's the first thing I want to mention because they might be a bit surprised when they click to check out and they are taken to Etsy. So let's take a look at this. So you can see what happens here. So if you remember, we've navigated this website before and once I get to the listing page on the website, people will see all the information from Etsy here being grabbed and displayed as if it was, you know, your listing on your website. But then when they go to purchase, they are actually being taken to Etsy to finalize the purchase. And so what that means is that they will need to add to basket to then go to checkout and finish checking out on Etsy. So this is why it's important that you make the Etsy checkout very clear on your website. So there's no surprise. If you don't, it could potentially kill your conversion rate because if people are on your website, you know, they trust that website. And if they, you don't clearly tell them that they'll be checking out on Etsy and suddenly they click purchase and it takes them there, that element of surprise could make them hesitate to continue the purchase. The next disadvantage of Etsy 360 is that, in my opinion, it's not a long-term solution. There is an element of inconvenience if you're using Etsy 360. It's not an e-commerce store that you own. It's still Etsy, you're still paying the Etsy fees, it's still sending shoppers to Etsy. So it's not a long-term solution if you really want to have a full e-commerce store. If that is your goal, then at some point you need to add your products to your shopping platform and set this up on your own website fully. So Etsy 360 is a good in-between, right? Um, it's absolutely a good option, but it can't fully replace having your own e-commerce store. If you go to the effort of creating your own website, you want to reap all the advantages of having your shoppers shop and stay on your site. The final disadvantage is that obviously it has a monthly fee, so there's a cost. It'll be an added business expense that takes money away from your profits. You're getting a valuable service for that money, but this again reinforces using it as a short-term service to buy you some time until you have the time to add all of your products to your e-commerce platform. Of course, you don't need to do this. And if you have the time, you can set up your e-commerce section of your website right away. But if you're looking for a short-term solution to integrate your Etsy store with your website, then Etsy 360 helps you avoid the time-consuming e-commerce setup until you are ready and have the time to do it properly. Now, if you're just starting to create your website, I actually have a free one-page website planner that you can download um, that will help you through each step of the process. I'll leave the link for you down below, so be sure to go and download that next. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and until next time, au revoir.